break-ins, unwanted parties, even a homicide. These are all problems plaguing Eli Walker lofts in downtown West. Tonight, city leaders are stopping the lofts developer Lux Living from building another multifamily use complex. It's the story News 4 has been following now for months. And tonight, our Jenna Ray is digging into why the building's board members are set to go in front of city litigators for the second time in less than four months. Don't let them get to your county. Don't, don't let them get to your city because they will destroy it. That's one Eli Walker residents warning to apartment renters metro wide regarding STL citywide, also known as Lux Living. Those same owners run Eli Walker's condominium board and are now being given a summons by city attorneys for nuisance violations. I think their time is quickly coming up. We're catching on to them finally. In August, the board got its first nuisance violation. City attorneys later agreed on a consent order foregoing the hearing and forcing the board to implement better safety measures for residents. The things they did do were done very poorly and honestly last minute a lot of it. Less than three months later, the second nuisance hearing was posted. Residents say they're hoping for a better outcome this time around. I would love to see a hearing and I would love to be a witness so I could tell them in person to their faces the negligence that's been going on here. So News 4 asked one local attorney how to help renters avoid troublesome situations when leasing homes or apartments. So I don't want people to think, oh, I could never afford an attorney and just not look. You may be able to afford some amount of advice that will get you to a better place. We do a self-help consultation where we have like a small fee. They call and we have half an hour or an hour and I go, here are the rules. This is what you can do for yourself to arm yourself for your situation. Family and consumer attorney Erica Wenzel says when looking to rent, it's best to check Google reviews, but take things with the grain of salt. Go physically, look at the actual unit you plan to rent, check for occupancy permits. In Missouri, it's required by code before every new tenant moves in. You can also check the attorney general's office for past complaints on the property or landlord. And lastly, do your research on CaseNet, Missouri's legal tracking system. If there are issues with the property or its owners, Wenzel says, you'll know. I want like tenants to know that there are people that will help them with these things. I understand that it's difficult to find those people um, and that there are a lot of tenants and there are a few of those people that are doing that, but it is something that happens and there are resources out there. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4. We did reach out to both the condos board's attorney and the city councilor's office. Neither had a comment on the upcoming hearing, which is set for December 15th. He was like my